2017 Mercedes AMG S63 Cabriolet. The year round $200,000 convertible. Highs and lows. Highs. Relatively high speed on the move top folding ability, incredible acceleration, tomb like serenity with the roof raised. Lows. Transmission stumbles, impact harshness, flexible structure. The weather outside can be frightful between the months of November and April at our Michigan headquarters, but at car and driver, testing cars is a year-round job. That means we sometimes end up in the incongruous position of reviewing cars like the 2017 Mercedes-AMG S63 Cabriolet when the thermometer drops below freezing. Yet the middle sibling in Mercedes S-Class Cabriolet lineup is more capable of offering year-round enjoyment to those in wintry climes than you might expect. Top Time In addition to the eye-opening acceleration numbers provided by the Spence's 577 HP twin-turbo V8 which we'll discuss in a second the big convertible has another impressive feat we can plot against time, the roof's action. It takes less than 20 seconds for the large, Fully lined top to collapse into an nacelle behind the rear seats, it takes the same amount of time to rise back into place. More critically, the top can be raised or lowered at speeds up to 31 mph one needn't pull over should a rain cloud decide to open up or the sun make a surprise appearance. This ability is shared with the S550 and the 12-cylinder S65 cabriolets, but it wasn't nearly as important, or appreciated, during those sunny, warm weather reviews. Whatever the ambient temperature, the S63 comes equipped with gadgets to warm or cool its occupants when the roof is lowered. For example, Mercedes's air scarf system is standard, it blows hot air onto the front passenger's necks via seat back vents, and when combined with the $1,990 heated front and rear seats, heated steering wheel, and heated door and center console armrests is effective at making top-down journeys possible in frigid conditions for front seat passengers. These occupants also enjoy a nearly draft-free cocoon at speed, in large part due to the windshield that extends nearly to the front head rests. Rear seat passengers have decent legroom the S63 Cabriolet, after all, is almost 200 inches long but they get only seat heaters and two HVAC vents to ward off any chills. Fast filigree. It is doubtful that anyone is buying the $178,325 S63 Cabrio as their sole vehicle or as one for ferrying around themselves and three of their favorite people no matter the season. Sure, the standard all-wheel drive, dubbed for MATIC, is another feature that enhances capability in icky weather provided, of course that the 20-inch summer tires are swapped for more appropriate rubber but it's mostly on hand to aid in dispatching the twin-turbocharged 5.5-liter V8 S664 LBFT of torque when accelerating from a stop. All-wheel drive provides the nearly 5,000-pound S63 with enough traction to translate the engine's might into an incredible 3.7 seconds 0 to 60 mph time. Like every other AMG product, the S63S exhaust noise at full wax sounds like millions of individual gasoline molecules exploding. Less successful is the 7-speed automatic transmission, which uses a wet, multi-plate clutch coupling device in place of a torque converter. The clutch pack engages imprecisely when accelerating gently from a stop, sometimes grabbing quickly with a lurch and other times allowing the engine to rev as though the clutch is slipping before finally engaging, again with a lurch. The issue fades the harder you mash the gas pedal, but this is an open and shut case of misplaced priorities, most drivers will spend far more time cruising at the sort of pace where the finicky transmission rears its ugly side than they will exploiting every last one of the S63 S577 ponies. Our S63 came riding on optional $1,700 20-inch AMG wheels, which introduced an edge to the ride quality on initial impacts with bumps and road cracks, although on the whole the ride quality is quite comfortable. We also detected some chassis flex, not unexpected in something this large that also lacks a fixed roof. Those are the extent of our complaints. The S63 is expensive, sure. 
Ours rang in at $201,525 thanks to the aforementioned heated interior bits and 20-inch wheels, as well as special order goodies from Benz's Designio catalog including $2,300 mocha black paint, a $3,250 white and brown leather interior, and $1,300 pinstripe piano black interior trim. The $6,400 Burmester sound system pleases the ear, and it's equally audible top up or down. In fact, with the top raised, the Benz passes for a coupe, so quiet is it inside. We recorded a hushed 63 decibel noise level in the cabin at 70 miles per hour, another $2,260 went toward a night vision camera of questionable value, $2,250 bought Benz's latest crop of semi-autonomous driving technologies including a lane-keeping system, adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking, and blind spot monitoring. And with its 17 mpg combined EPA fuel economy rating, the S63 convertible requires that every buyer faces a $1,000 gas guzzler tax, we averaged only 14 mpg over our test. Whether you need the S63 convertible over, say, the already excellent and less expensive, non-AMG S550 Cabriolet mostly is a matter of how many digits are carried in the balance number of your bank account. Those with the means surely will step up to the AMG, just because AMG variants exist at least partially to be the priciest iteration of any given Mercedes although we don't doubt the S63 S extra quickness is a factor. Even so, Every S-Class Cabriolet, from the S550 up to the V12-powered S65, is at heart a big, soft boulevardier with a stunning and cosseting interior. Given that the S65 variant is rear-drive only, the S63's most rational selling point is perhaps its honor as the most powerful S-Class convertible with all-weather capability. That certainly counts for something, particularly in an upper Midwest winter.